This video is going to go over in detail from the moment you decide you want to get into the business until the very end when your business is running. The first and foremost, we want you to do all your research. Make sure you feel it's a good fit for yourself and your lifestyle. As well, we are going to be doing the same thing. We want to make certain that we have good people on our side, people that are going to try to get ads and to work the business like a business. Even though it's a simple one, it's important that the machines are taken care of. Let's say you're in North Los Angeles and you didn't do a good job of taking care of your machines. The customers 20 miles away in Riverside will be greatly affected by it because they will talk to those other bar owners. And we obviously, our brand is important to us, so we don't want people thinking that these machines aren't serviced properly. So that is why we're looking for specific individuals for this on our end too. You will fill out an application form for territory. So let's just say a person was buying 12 machines. You would apply for a territory. So let's say North Los Angeles. Now this part varies a lot based on the person and the area and who's interested, but let's say North LA you applied for uh, from downtown up to 20 miles from there. You'd be the North Los Angeles proper distributor. Then we'd have someone in the South, someone probably in the East because it's a big city and things like that. If you're in a smaller town of like 300,000 people, 12 machines might get you exclusivity to the full town. It, again, it depends on size, a lot of factors. But when you're ready, we will have a phone call and discuss what we think and how much territory we can get you. And then we apply for that territory and exclusivity is what we're doing. Typically, the exclusivity lasts for nine months. We'll give you six to nine months to make sure the business is good for you. And at that point, if you expand, your territory will remain exclusive so that we're not going to sell anybody else. That's what exclusive means is that, hey, someone calls from your territory, we tell them it's sold to try back in a year, basically. Exclusivity is very important because your business is more valuable if there's no one else there. Plus, there's only so many bars. The one bad thing with the business is that there's only so many bars we can put these in that'll do well. So that's very important to note. So you want to have as many bars available for you to grow as you can. The more options, the better. Once you're approved, we'll send you a contract. It's fairly simple. And once you do the deposit, so in the case of 12, let's say it would be $2,000, we put you in line. Typically, it's about a six-week wait from when you do the deposit to when we finish. Obviously, that number will vary, but I can give you a pretty good estimate from before you do your deposit as an estimate. Again, we don't hold it. You have to do your deposit to get in line. So if you get a contract and the week later do a deposit, your start date will probably be at least a week later, depending on how many people bought that week. So After you do the deposit, you're officially in the business and your market is now yours. We have a lot of work to do. The first thing that we do is make a list of the bars in your area. We'll make a large list and it's pretty easy to find bars. And I know some people ask, oh, how do you know what bars to look for? I mean, the internet's pretty unbelievable in this day and age. So we can easily find all the good bars in your market. We look at if they're open late every night, typically it means they're a drinking bar. If they're closing at 10 every night, it means they don't want the drinking crowd and there's more of a dinner place. Uh, you can tell by the names of the bars often. And a big thing that we do is the reviews. Uh, I find the reviews give a lot of different opinions on the type of bar it is. So that's a really good way to, to narrow down if it's a good bar too. After the list is made, we have another person comb through it to make certain and eliminate bars that are not good. And then we have another person after that that goes over the list in much more detail. And uh, in this case, what they'll do is kind of put off the bars so if they don't look top notch. They'll kind of save them for later and see how the market goes. After the list has been qualified, we have to get the names of all the bar owners, which is a lot of work. Imagine if you called a bar and said, hey, what's the name of the bar? You would probably not get the name of the owner. That's because the bartenders are trained to say no and not give you the name. 
However, uh, we've been doing this a long time, and we have ways that we can get the names of the owner as well. It just takes some work. So once the names are all done, we start booking appointments. So about two to three weeks before we come, we'll have a flight booked. Rental car, obviously, we're going to re-verify the dates with you, make sure you're around. We don't need much time because we're doing all the work, but we do just need you in the city so that we can give you your training and give the keys, etc. About uh, two weeks before, I'd say, we ship the machines either to a FedEx or to a warehouse uh, that's nationwide that we've partnered with. That way you don't have to deal with them. Our installer picks them up when they're there. If you're buying the new machines, there is a second deposit required at this point. Again, it's in the contract, but this is when it would be made because we're ready to ship the machines and we're all ready to go. We've added that deposit for the second machine just because the value of them is so much higher than our old ones, plus all the extra work that they require to get set up with SIM cards and the credit cards and the portal and things of that nature. So we asked for the second deposit at this point because we need to make sure people are serious about the business. Once we fly there, we typically will obviously pick up the machines, but we'll start scouting bars is what we do. So we try to go to every single bar before we start to talk to anybody. Just scouting it so we know what to look for when we go in, and as well as planning out the route and making sure that in person they seem like they did online. We have what we call our first meeting with you. It's a simple meeting, doesn't take long. Really, it's just... You're obviously excited to finally meet somebody in person, and we're excited to meet you in person as well. It's really more about just showing you the machine, bits of that, show you your product that you're going to have in the bars. That's a big part of it, but really, it's just good to confirm the plan and the locations and kind of what areas they're in and make sure we're all on the same page. At that point, the installer will go and install the machines. So... She's going to put in the best 12. So typically our policy, if you're buying 12, it'll be 24 appointments booked minimum. Again, we do that in case someone doesn't show up to their appointment or if uh, we don't want to be forced to put them in bars just because that's all we have left. We want to be able to have a choice to get a good route going for you. We plan out the second meeting. The second meeting is more important. Uh, that one's different because our priority when we're there is getting the best locations possible. So during the second meeting, we are going to go into a lot more details. One, obviously, to go over the locations. I know people are typically very excited to see where everything is. So we'll start off by going over the bars. She'll also put details, hey, the machines by the ATM, and then also discuss why we put in there, why we liked it, and giving honest feedback about each bar's. Also, we're going to train you on certain things that you should do that will help your business and then some very important things of what you shouldn't do uh, that would hurt your business if you did them. At this point, what will happen is you will receive all the keys with key tags labeled for the which bars and you'll also give the installer the cashier's check. Usually, we have a call a couple days after. To go over everything, obviously, we like to get feedback from the customers. And you get set up to do your donations with the charity as well. That's directly through them. Just all that kind of fun stuff that any new business has. What we do is we send you a, a training guide, we call it. That's just a guide of everything that we recommend you do with servicing and promoting and things like that. That way, you don't have to feel like you have to remember everything from one meeting. So this will give you all the info what kind of screws are in the machine, what kind of mounting tape, posters, things like that. Also, again, most importantly, though, how do you check your machines when, what you say and do. We also go over that if you have questions, and that's basically it. So that is the process from start to finish for the business.